Here's something that is rare for me to run into in the state of California, but uh, traveling to the state of Colorado, I ran into this. And there's actually a crack in the brick. And as you can see, the cracks kind of running in a, a lot of times when we run into a crack, it's due to some type of settlement issue. And this particular case is the fact that it's uh, supported by a wood post. And like I said, this is rare to find a brick wall supported by a wood post. Uh, most of the time there, the brick will run all the way around an opening like a window or a door. So it'd be on both sides. So this, like I said, it's not real common. Now we also have the post supporting a wood header. So any type of shrinkage in the header or the post could cause the brick to settle. And remember, lumber shrinks. Um, if it's completely dry when you install it, there's a good chance it will not be shrinking. But that's not, that's not a common practice in construction. So if you want to avoid having a crack like this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to continue the wall the brick wall around any types of openings. Um, try to avoid supporting them with wood. Um, try and support the brick with brick. Steel wouldn't be a bad idea. The steel's not going to move as much. Remember, steel can move. Most of the time for something like this, it's not going to be a problem. And of course, we can go back to the issue that maybe the foundation has settled creating this problem also. So there are a few things. I don't just want to blame this on the wood post. Um, however, I would like to point out, reiterating what why the reason why I made the video is to avoid using wood if possible in a situation like this to um, avoid the possibility of the wood shrinking and of course, uh, leaving you with a nice sized crack in your wall that uh, could create a variety of other problems with the building.